Hello, this is Ronan and Mog. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to generate uh, an Excel, interactive Excel, with data from a purchase order, and uh, then uh, update the purchase order with uh, changed data in the Excel. What we're using here is uh, what we call interactive Excel. So uh, let's first uh, see the Excel template that we are going to use. The code is uh, POITM, and um, this is the this is the template. We have uh, rows of uh, items and uh, the purchase order uh, number. We are going to generate uh, one uh, one Excel with this data. So let's produce it. We have produced it, uh, okay. And now what we are going to do is to update uh, SAP is to use a WebDime per application that uh, takes the template code and uh, takes the file that have been changed and uh, update uh, the purchase order. First of all, uh, let's go into this file and uh, try to update some data. <coughs> Well, we have uh, just uh, two uh, columns that we can change. It's the quantity and the amount. Uh, the amount is the net price. So let's uh, change the amount. We change that just uh, some of it. And uh, we will uh, save it and use it uh, in the WebDime Pro application. Uh, so uh, we'll uh, choose the right uh, template code, it's the PO item, and then uh, upload the file that we have changed and push this button to update the purchase order. In here, what we get is the return uh, values of the purchase uh, order, the return messages, uh, what we've uh, seen here that the purchase order was changed, some warnings. So let's go into the purchase order itself and uh, see how it has been changed. The session has been uh, opened, just a minute. Okay. <coughs> Let's put the right uh, number. It's a uh, seven four in the end. Seven four. And as we see here, we will open the file again. Uh, look at the amount, it's three and a half, four, one, one, five. A minute. Three and a half, four, and one, five. So we have changed it uh, successfully. Uh, let's try another purchase order. <coughs> we will create now another one. Let's delete the former. And try another one. Five in the end. We'll generate now the Excel with the this purchase order data. Okay. Minute. And now we're going to change also the the quantity. Change it to to. 200, change the amount, and save it. And now let's go back into the purchase order, a web done per application, and take the new file and try to update this purchase order.
So we've got some arrows in here. Uh, what are the arrows? The quantity is smaller. Uh, so we'll bring back, we have to bring back the right quantity, 3p2, 3,6,1. We'll open it again. So we'll leave it now and try another one. We'll have some uh, problems with the, with the quantities and uh, we take uh, we take a new one. We generate another one. <coughs> and we try to change it. Now I won't touch the quantities because uh, I don't know how it was declared in the purchase order though. We change only the amount, only the net price. We lower it, it's good for the customer. Mm, okay. Save it. And again to the web time pro, as we've seen before. We'll uh, try to update it. As you see, <coughs> it was updated, it was changed. Let's go the last time to this purchase order. The six in the end. Uh, the net price was 33.22. Let's see if it's the right uh, net price. 33.22. And 12, that's what we've changed. 33, 22, and 12. So, uh, so the purchase order has been changed successfully. And uh, what we have seen here is uh, generate uh, the Excel with uh, data from SAP, in this case, the purchase order data, and then uh, use uh, a web dime pro or uh, or a portal, uh, portal Dine Pro, and uh, upload the change file and uh, and update it in the SAP. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching.